Hey, what's going on? Jason Cutter here, Cutter Consulting Group. So have you ever wondered why it feels like your comp plan isn't enough? It should be, right? Like you have some kind of um, really effective, really good outline of how much money they can make. Maybe it's even uncapped. You have that comp plan in place where they can do well, they can make as much as they probably want to, maybe more than they're used to making, but it doesn't ever seem to be enough motivation. Sure, there's a few reps that probably crush your comp plan, but it's not even like 80, 20. It's more like 5% are doing well in the comp plan and the rest of them are not. And so why is your big, potentially uncapped comp plan not enough for everyone to work harder, to work smarter, um, maybe even getting them to show up every day or clock in and do their work, um, be present mentally and physically, even if they're remote. Well, here's the thing. It's because comp plans are extrinsic motivators, right? They're, and external extrinsic motivators aren't enough for most people. They are the carrot of the carrot and the stick. The problem is, is most people get used to the carrot and the stick. Uh, they kind of get desensitized to it. And it really takes a rare individual who can look at a comp plan, knows exactly what they want in life and how much money they want to make and why that matters to them. And then they're going to go forward. It does happen, but it's usually rare. Again, maybe 5% of the people on your team are going to be like, here's my comp plan. I know what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to go and get out of my way. When you have that person, you're like, this is amazing. How do I get more of these people? And then at the same time you turn and look at the rest of your team and go, what do I do with these rest of these reps who just literally seem like they don't care? Have you ever run a contest where you're thinking, all right, I'm going to do some big cash and prizes and that will get everyone to do more um, only to find out that maybe a few of the people kind of do well. Maybe they do a little better and everyone else doesn't seem to care. And the end result isn't necessarily more deals or even if it is, you get more deals this week or this month or this quarter. And then literally it's flat the next week, the month, the quarter, or even worse. Sometimes it goes down because it's just like this negative draw. Here's the thing. Here's the solution is you've got to switch to intrinsic motivation. It's got to be internal. It's got to be something that that salesperson internally is motivated for and by. Like it doesn't matter what you think or say, what you try to bribe them with. It's about what they want and what they're looking for. Most people, people, humans in general, only care about themselves. They only care about what they want and they're motivated by what's important to them. Sales managers, salespeople, and leaders forget that. They think, oh, I was motivated by money. Maybe you had a good reason. I think everyone should be motivated by money and it just doesn't work. So what can you do about this? Well, here's the first thing. You gotta put your coaching hat on and coach everyone through a process. You have to remember that everybody is different. They're not you. If you were highly motivated by money or happy hours or contests or president's club, not everyone is like you and that's okay. If they're performing, they're making money, they're hitting their goals or above, that's fantastic. That's what you want. But you got to remember, everybody's different. Everybody wants something different. With your coaching head on, you have to know what is their why? Why do they want to make more money? Because it's never about the money. Right? Sometimes it's maybe the money and it helps them with ego or they didn't have money as a kid. So now they have money. But even that, like it's something deeper. It's about what happened in their childhood or wanting to buy a house. The money's for this. The money's for buying a car. The money's for buying a watch that can show off because they never had like whatever it is. It's always deeper than the surface. It's always deeper than just the money, right? Because the money is just a tool to get the things that are important to them. What you've got to do is figure out what's important to them. What would they put on their vision board for motivation? If they were to put images up and they were to look at that, what would motivate them to do more? Once you know that, then you can coach them to that. You can coach them, you can hold them accountable, you can set goals with them, and then push them to move forward for their reasons, which of course, hopefully align with the company's goals and what you need out of each one of your salespeople. But the goal is to help them identify it, and then you hold them accountable for what they want. And if you want more information about this, I have an ebook uh, about motivating your sales team. I even have a vision board video challenge that's available. Just check out the links below for more of that information. Maybe that'll help you and your team close more deals and succeed this year.